In the first video, we looked at the entity diagram of the database tables we need for a dynamic website. We then created the database and assigned a proxy user to it and granted the proxy user data rights or privileges to the database in a remote shared hosting environment. In this video, we will create the same database in a local development environment using the PHP MyAdmin tool. This video is using Champ with PHP 5.6 and a Maria database, which is fully MySQL compatible. Begin by starting your local development server. Open the local PHP MyAdmin tool in a browser. Notice the URL is using localhost. Begin by clicking the User Accounts tab in PHP MyAdmin. If you already have a proxy user to match the one in your shared hosting account, you need do nothing. If there is no proxy user, you will need to create one. Since I already have a proxy user here that matches the one that exists in my shared hosting account, I do not need to create one. I will be using my Blaine RO underscore iClient proxy, which you will note has rights to localhost, meaning that the proxy has the ability to use all databases in the localhost environment and it has data rights to match the privileges I gave the same user in my shared hosting account. Next, click the Databases tab. At the top is a text box for creating the new database. Type the name exactly as it was in your shared hosting account here. When done, click the Create button. The newly created database will appear in the list. With the creation of the new database locally, we are ready to build the tables which we will do in the next movie.